Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny here, and welcome back to another Jazzy January. I think today is what? Today is day 21, and I have a really large collective drugstore haul for you guys. And I've been trying to get this out for days. I just have so much stuff here. So I just want to go ahead and jump right in and show you all the things I got. Actually, most of everything I have on my face was a part of my drugstore haul, so I'm really excited to kind of let you guys know some of the cool things I got. Okay, so firstly, I want to start with these new little L'Oreal lippies that I have here. I actually have two of the colors on my lips combined, and I'm really excited about these because I put one on my lips on the way home in the car, and I was like, oh, no, it's kind of sticky, and it didn't feel like one of the infallible lip lipsticks or lip glosses from them and it didn't feel like one of the long lasting except for the fact that it was sticky and I wasn't sure how pigmented it was and then when I got home and I was really able to look into the mirror I was really really pleased with the color on my lips so I'm gonna let you know those that I have on first okay so the color that's most dominant the color that's the most opaque that you could see the best is called berry persistent very persistent I actually think that's a perfect color for me and it's really really pretty right here I'm really excited about these I really like these a lot um, they come in this cute little new container and they have a really cute little doe foot applicator kind of the wider ones and then they have a decent scent some of them and just really really cute really pigmented I really love the colors okay the next color I have is stubborn plum also a perfect um, Color for me, perfect name, should be called Plum Stubborn, but I absolutely love these two right here. So those are uh, the two that I'm having on my lips right now. And then the other ones are called Rose On and On. This is a really, really pretty soft pink color. And then I also have Coral Tattoo, which is amazing. I absolutely love this color and can't wait to do some more reviews and some different color swatches and different things like this. And then the last one I have is called Endless Red and it's kind of a blue toned red. Really, really pretty. Really excited about these. Um, I don't even know the name of them. I just know that they were from L'Oreal and I purchased these from Target. Um, actually, these are the most recent of my purchases. I actually purchased these last night, the 20th. And um, yeah, really excited about those. I actually purchased two of the Maybelline Color Whispers. These are really pretty. They kind of remind me of the Revlon Lip Butters in a way. I really like the cute little packaging. Um, the package is the color of the color on the inside. And the two colors I have are um, 95 is Mad for Magenta and 90 is O. Oh. Ola Lilac. So that's really, really cute names. And I'll have like some up close and some swatches and different things like that. I'm really loving the drugstore right now for all their lip products. They have so many unique colors and so many different formulations. Like I had like a cream lip gloss and then I had like kind of a lip butter. And now I have kind of sim some of these are like lip stains, lip balms. And these are the CoverGirl um, Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. And the colors I have are number 270. And these are the kind that once you take the wrappers off, there's no longer the name, which I really hate. And I know that they all have a cute name like Raspberry Twist and Mocha Twist. I think it's like Mocha Twist. And the colors are really, really dead on with the color of the cap. I'm obviously most excited about these two. And then I have a really nice warm nude here, which is going to be great. And then I have a cool mauve nude, which is going to be really nice. And then kind of a fiery red. I have three of the new Maybelline Vivids and I know that you guys are really excited about these because I'm really excited about these and I'm kind of late to the to the party but they're so so pretty. This one right here is called Vibrant Mandarin. I have Vivid Rose and Shocking Coral and I haven't really gotten a chance to wear these or really really even test these out but they're extremely pigmented. They swatch really, really well, and I love bright lipstick. I really, really do. I like the packaging. I wish the color of the packaging was more reminiscent with the color of the product, but I mean, they're really, really pretty. They're really bright, and I really can't wait to um, do some on-lip swatches and some testing and some reviews of those because I've heard some really, really great things about them. I have two of the NYC Liquid Shines. I have, I believe one's called Fashion F. 
Fashion Avenue Fuchsia. Yes, and one is called Rivington Rose. This is Fashion Ave Fuchsia and this is Rivington Rose. And I really like them both. I've actually worn this one in a couple of videos and I think I've actually also used it in one of my videos. So I'm not really sure about that. But in my bottom bar, I will have plenty of links to all the lipstick videos that I've done within the past few months. I have so many videos right now, especially on lipstick. I'll make sure to have them in the bottom bar so you can check them out. Here I have Captivating Coral and Raspberry Reflection, and I really, really like these a lot. These are two of the lip glosses that I used in my MAC video. I have like a, a MAC video on Candy Yum Yum, Pink Pigeon, Nikki Young Rapunzel, and I kind of just show you how to wear them, and these were heavily featured in that video. So if you want to see what these look like on, I will have a link in the bottom bar and probably also an annotation within the video. If you're a mobile user and you find that you can't click on my annotations, definitely always try the bottom bar. I always try to provide the information for you guys down there as well. Okay, so I got a whole crap load of the 24 hour infallible eye colors, okay? And these are L'Oreal Paris. L'Oreal is really doing their thing in the drugstore right now. I'm really, really, really pleased with how the drugstore is like kind of stepping up and giving us options outside of the department store for actually good, decent makeup. They've always had options, but usually drugstore makeup is disappointing and I'm really impressed right now. So from the L'Oreal Infallible line, I got Midnight Blue, which I actually used in a couple of tutorials. Um, I have Bottomless Java, which is a really, really nice brown color here. Then I have a really pretty uh, warm blue, great for warm toned women, yellow undertones. This is called the Endless Sea, and this is really, really pretty blue. I can't wait to use that one. I got a nice highlighting color called Endless Pearl right here, which I'll probably have like more close up so you guys can see what's going on. I also got Continuous Cocoa, which is a really, really dark brown. I really like this one a lot, Continuous Cocoa. Smoldering Plum, which is a really, really dark purple brown color, which is going to be great for smoky eyes and just really smoking out that outer V. If you don't want to use like a black or a typical brown, then that's a really co pretty color. Um, then I also have Golden Emerald, which is probably my favorite of all the colors. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a warm green, has gold flecks in it. It's so pretty. Golden, um, I have Golden Emerald. I have like a terrible memory. It's like three seconds and I forgot the name. Okay, and then here is Iced Latte, which is a really pretty shimmery kind of like pale beige color with some shimmer. Great for wedding makeup, great for highlight, tear duct type work. Really, really pretty uh, beige tone. I got 903C from Wet n Wild because I was trying to see if this would be like a dupe for uh, Viva Glam Nikki, and it's not, but it's a really, really pretty color. 642 New Delight. I actually also purchased this one. This is from Rimmel. It's called Nude Delight. And I purchased this because I also thought that this might be close to Nikki. But it's just a really, really pretty uh, peachy nude. I really like this nude a lot, actually. Looks really great with a warmer orange, coral, or tangerine like lip gloss on top. Okay, so these are all LA Colors lip glosses. Well, actually, they're not lip gloss. They are LA Colors lip gloss and lipstick duo. And I purchased so many of these. These were actually a dollar, and I have quite a few here for myself, and I have some for a giveaway and contests and different things like that. I mean, I have colors, uh, nude colors, neutral. I have some peachy tones. I'll probably do it up close so you can see. I, I just have so many things here, and I know that this video is going to run kind of long, so I'm kind of trying to zoom along. I actually also purchased this. This is a L'Oreal... Um, foundation and it's actually not my tone and as I was looking at it and I could see the color in here I thought that it might be but then as you go to open it you can see that it's definitely not my tone but one thing that this is going to be great for is like a neutral highlight like to highlight my face saying I don't want too gold or too red of a highlight this is going to be a really great neutral and the color of this one is in classic tan it has a really, really great texture. It's really, really pigmented and creamy. And it actually has, you know, properties in it like retinol to help your face plump up and smooth out and fill out wrinkles. So this is going to be especially great for the under eye area. 
actually also purchased this. Um, this is a Revlon powder and I purchased this because I love the Photo Ready line and I thought that this would be nice to kind of try to set my makeup with. Now I did not try to set my makeup with it but I did do like a swatch and the texture of this powder is like silk. I absolutely love the texture and as you can see it shows up on my finger okay so it's not too translucent in that sense. And like if I were to like rub it on my skin, you could see it. I don't know why I rubbed it on my chest, but anyway. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do with this is I think I'm going to use this as an under eye powder. Kind of like a highlight and like an under eye concealer set powder. So I will let you guys know how that goes. I'll probably do a video on it. I have so many videos coming out for you guys. I actually know that I missed today and I'm so sorry about that. But I have so many more great things coming up for you guys. Um, so I'm a Target junkie, as many, many of you may or not know, if you follow me on Twitter, like I'm always tweeting about Target, and um, I was actually in there last night, and I think I may have seen D-Storm, I'm not sure, but, um, I actually pick up two of these Pixie, and these are their sheer cheek gels, and the colors that I got are rosy and peachy, and I really like Pixie products, especially their eyeliners, but I thought that I would try these because I also like cheek gels, because they make your blush look more natural, they last longer, and they're really great as cheek bases. Say for instance you love powder blush, but it doesn't last on you. Then you can use a cheek gel as a base and then put a matching blush on top and it will last all day. Okay, so I also purchased three of these Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipsticks and the color I got is It Girl, right here. It's a really pretty peachy tone. I got Silhouette, which is like a a soft pinky purple color really really pretty actually kind of like a, a cool lavender lilac type of color and then I got women's wear which is a really pretty typical pink type of color it actually is a little bit shimmery and um, I haven't worn these too much the consistency is not my favorite from Revlon but I will be giving these like an on-camera try a good a good try and seeing how I like these because I do actually really like this one this it girl color right here so I will have definitely some more videos coming up where I'm trying to wear those and figure out the texture if you own those and you really love them or you really hate them kind of let me know down below because I haven't really tried them that much but one of them I tried to throw on kind of like a chapstick and it really didn't it didn't wear well it was kind of skippy but we're gonna give it another go I I actually purchased the Next up I have the NYC Smooth Skin Protect Next up I have the NYC Smooth Next up I have the NYC Smooth Skin uh, Perfecting Primer and I really really like this. It's a really soft primer. It's great for all skin types. I've actually used this a few times and it really helps your makeup to go on a lot smoother and it helps to hide any skin flakes or anything like that. So if you have dry skin, I especially think this will be great and I burnt the tip of my nose years ago years ago trying to like get rid of a pimple and then I was trying to get rid of a mark and now my skin or my nose just gets flaky every now and again kind of like it's traumatized and when I use that primer it really helps to lay the flakes down it really helps the texture of my skin in that area I actually have another purchase from Pixie and this is called pink peony and it's a succulent lip twin and this is one of the products that you can use on your lips as well as your cheeks and it's kind of like a little bit of a bally situation here and you kind of just rub it and this this one is for you I'm just finding this out right now I swear for some reason I had this screwed on and I was like but wait there's product in here and this is a ball so what so I'm thinking that you rub this on your lips and your cheeks no okay so this is for the lips Pink Peony, it's really, really pretty. That one's for the lips. And then, I'm so slow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, and then you take off the cap and you peel this back right here. And you have a lip. You have a lip. You have a cheek. <laughs> I'm like, I'm baffled right now. You have a cheek balm. Okay, so I'm going to explore that further because I really wasn't paying attention. I had a Target gift card from the holidays and I was just in there going ham on their makeup and just picking up stuff and I don't even know what I have. Okay, so that's Pink Peony and I have like the lip 
particle, the lip product, and then the cheek as well. Okay, next up I have like a million glitters and a million glitter products. I'm gonna try to show you them all at like once. These were all purchased from the dollar store. I have pink, silver, and black. I have red, white, and blue. And then I have gold, antique gold, and like a green. You guys know that I'm like loving glitter right now, so I had to pur purchase a whole bunch of those. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, not Twitter, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen uh, when I did the initial post when I bought those like weeks ago. I also bought these from the Dollar General. I got a gold, like a mauve, a pink glitters, and then I have some like bigger, larger glitters. I also have a pack with a black gradient black to white glitter. And then I have here kind of like a gold orange. I have like a rose gold in here, antique gold, and then some brown glitter as well to do some fun looks with glitter. So I have so much glitter and I have so much lip stuff right now. Definitely please recommend looks because I'm like running out of ideas of things to do. So recommend any looks that you want me to do and put them in the bottom bar or you can tweet me or you can send them to me on Instagram as well. Okay, so since I bought all that glitter, I definitely had to get a glitter base. There's like a hair stuck to it. These are the Sally Girl um, Glitter Gel Adhesives, and I really, really like these a lot. They work really well. I've used them in several tutorials, and I will have links below teaching you kind of how to use that gel adhesive. And then I also bought a Maybelline Color Tattoo, and this one is in the color Pomegranate Punk. And I really, really like this color. It's going to be great because I'm really big into um, purple on my eyes. So I'm thinking about doing like a really dark, smoldering, like dark purple, smoky eye. Okay, so while I was in Sally, I also picked up one of their bronzers. This is their Sally Girl bronzing powder. Really like this. It was $1. I thought I'd give it a try. And then I have a couple of LA Girl eyeshadow palettes that I also thought would be really cool to try out. Um, that's pretty much it for everything I bought. I have a couple of items not from the drugstore that I'm going to do a separate haul on. I have some foundation. I have um, Bobby Girl... Bobby Girl, Bobby Brown foundation that I purchased, long lasting, really, really awesome. And then I also want to do a um, like kind of like a rediscovery on the Fashion Fair foundation. I actually have on Fashion Fair foundation right now, and my card is about to die on me. I have six seconds. So what I'm gonna do is thank you guys so much as always for your support. I'm gonna get out of here for my card disrespects me. As always, I'm gonna thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully I'll do the same. Bye. Three, two, one.